Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Reborn. This is Hubbukin Place, also known as Pure Raichu. And we're here with another episode going through the forest and stuff like that because we need to pick up medicine for Anna. Now let's look at our party real quick. Oh my goodness! It seems to me that we have gotten Mira, the Guard of War. Now this one has perfect stats in uh, special attack, near perfect stats in special defense and speed and HP. So I'm really happy about what I got right here. Alright, so she gains a uh, Moonblast later. I could use a Moon... or a Moonstone. I could use a Heart Scale in order to get Moonblast early, but unfortunately, I don't have that much Heart Scales in general, so... Well, let's see how much I got. I'm running out quick, guys. Yep, we only got five left. I need to make them count. One of them is used... is going to be used for, uh... What is it? Sucker Punch for, uh... For Fuyuhiko. Not only that, but we also got Pixie Six, Pew, the Raichu is now in our party, guys. Pew Raichu is going to wreck everything. I'm so glad that I get to share this adventure with Pew. And, uh, yeah, with near-perfect stats and speed and attack, this is going to be one heck of a ride. KFC, De La Getz, and the Goongar are also with us, so without further ado, let us go through the area. The Chrysolia Forest. Wow, this is a pretty cool-looking area. It is a bit laggy, but that's alright. So, I guess we just need to keep on following the path? Whoa, things are disappearing, though. It's kind of... Ugh. <gasps> is that Furfru? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Furfru! Oh man, I'm capturing this thing no matter what. Furfru is one of my favorite PU Pokemon. Oh my gosh, no. Furfru, you can't do this to me. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can get one later, I think. If you live... Eh. Oh well, that's that's alright. Alright, so training up this Gardevoir was uh, really, really tedious. Because I soft resetted for, you know, at least a beneficial nature on it. And, uh, I got a good one. Quiet is really good in VGC for Gardevoir because of its support set. So, that's, uh, that's something that I like on it. But I might change it to Modest once I get to, you know, the point where I can change natures on some Pokemon. Traveler, let's see if you're fit to continue your journey. Alright! Let's do it. Let's see what we got over here. We got Ranger Elizabeth. Starting off with that Dratini. Dratini can only be found in the game if you're the lucky winner who received the Dratini in-game. But, yeah, Dratini's still an awesome Pokemon. Tentacool coming out for uh, this girl. Just going to use Psychic with Mira. That's going to definitely take out that Tentacool. Alright, that's going to be a level up. Future Sight, I already got a great moveset on, on uh, Mira already. Uh, let's see, Gastrodon coming out. Alright, this time we're going to use... <laughs> My bad. Whoops! Alright, so... The forest softened the attack right there. Let's see what we can do. Let's, we can hit him up with that magical leaf. That's what I was supposed to do with the forestry. And... Boom! That will take out the Gastrodon. So everything's great so far. Alright, beat her up. Guess I have to train more. Yep, sorry. Sorry, lady. Alright, so let's just go through the forest once again. Huh. Oh. Well, um, I guess we go this way now, right? Oh, and the earthquakes again? Wow, stuff is going on. And we got Bugsy over here. Little Volbeat. Alright, but I can't really do much to that, so I'm... If I find another Furfru, then that's where I capture. We got a Spinda. We got tons of cool Pokemon in this grass, guys. Especially that Furfru. I will definitely try and find a Furfru and breed for a competitive one later. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Ugh, I feel like I'm going in circles. Uh, yeah, that's the point of this. It's You just follow the path and... You know, the, it just messes with you, man. Alright, first we got Pineco over here. Let's see what we can do. Let's go for a Psychic. Man, Mira is starting to be, like, really, really powerful. I am not going to lie. Mira is uh, also 252 in Special Attack, 252 in Speed, once I change the nature. And uh, 6 in Defense. 
Sorry, there's a bunch of Geo dudes, so that was the only thing that I could take out. Alright, so next up we got a shield on, so let's send out Pixie Sticks right here. Pixie Sticks is also a really cool Pokemon for this next gym leader, so I'm definitely need to prepare for that. Metal Burst going down. Taking me down to 12 HP. Oh. Man, Metal Burst. That is always a tricky move to get by. Alright, last but not least, we got Vibrava. I don't have anything for Vibrava, so I guess I'll send in the Goongar. Goongar being another one of my favorite party members, guys. You don't even know. Goongar has carried me through my first file, and now Goongar is going to carry me through this file as well. He's definitely good for the next badge that is uh, after the badge that we're going after, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's just keep following this laggy path over here. It really is laggy, guys. I just... I just can't anymore. Alright. And once we get into battle, it's not laggy. Hey, Carablast! What goes on, man? Alright, Mira. Oh no, I really like Gardevoir. I was originally going to go for a Galate, and then I realized that I can get a, uh... Whoa. Oh man. And then I realized that I could get a... What is... A Snow Run! There we go. Because, uh... I love Frostlass. Frostlass is one of my favorite Pokemon, so is Gallade, but I like Frostlass a bit more. Besides, it adds a lot of array variety to my team, so I definitely want that over there. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Huh, what's over here? Huh. Oh, that is right. It is a windy day, and it is a dark day. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this is the Railnet Cave, guys. Now, in this cave, we get a very, very special Pokemon in here, so I'm going to do the event as soon as I can. And it is only windy for this week only. On Thursday, I don't want to change the date, guys. Changing the date made me screw up a lot of stuff. <gasps> is that a Kecleon? There's a lot of power! Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. I'm... Yeah, that just, that just flew over my head. Alright, Mira, um... Oh, man. You know what? Pew, the Raichu, you're going up in front, buddy. You're going to need to uh, do some stuff. So basically, we need to go to the cave where the train tracks isn't facing. And if we continue doing this, we should be leading into right here. The best thing ever is right here. I forgot about this. Found an Eevee. Do you like to give this Eevee a nickname? Aw, uh, Truck, yeah. Huh. Where's my Eevee? Oh my gosh, whoops. We got Eevee Hype over here. I don't know what to name uh, him or her, though. So. Huh. What did I name it before? I had this really, really good name for Eevee. Uh, you know, I'm just going to name it the... You know what, you're gonna be Xion for now. Alright, and the story for this is really, really sad. He's been stuck in this cave, he used to be uh, on the train tracks, and then he stumbled into this labyrinth cave, he could not navigate through it, his food stock's going low, and he tried digging through it, but he is weak, and uh, he wanted to give this he wanted to give his little girl a uh, Eevee, but it didn't work out for him, so now... We need to take the Eevee. We must tame it. We're not stealing. We're, you know, we're doing, we're doing the best that we can. Oh, well, that bush went away. Um, so I'm completely lost right now, guys. <laughs> After going through that Eevee event, I have no idea where to go anymore. So that is all right because P Raichu is really fast. He can definitely lead the way. And yeah, let's just hope that we can get through this maze because. This maze is, uh, it's pretty terrible. It does get confusing as well. I think I'm going backwards. I think that's the thing. I think I'm going backwards. Oh, no. All right, Carablast. I definitely want to try and use a Scavalier and a Selgor, but I don't think it really fits for my team because there's another Pokemon that I really want. You know, I'm just going to reset the puzzle. There's no point in continuing that. Alright, let's do this. Let's just get through this maze. Not up. Let's go down. Go this way. 
Furfru. Alright, we got an Illamese. So this is where you get to find Volbeat and Illamese. Pretty good place to find them, if I do say so myself. Man, I missed that Furfru, though. That made me so mad. Ugh. Oh. I forgot that the forestry upgraded your attacks, but that's alright. I, I, I will definitely be searching for one later, because uh, I, I want to use Furfru. I don't know about you guys, but I really like Furfru. Alright, let's see. Uh, go here, go here. Let's keep going this way. Let's go this way. Let's go down. Let's go this way. I guess we go this way as well. Go up. Huh, I guess we go right. We go up. Man, this maze is really confusing. And it Oh, you're not escaping my You're not escaping my grasp this time. I got Pew up in front. Nuzzle that. This guy is a really, really, really good defensive wall, so I really want this. It's got a great ability, got a great move pool. Doesn't have the best stats, but it's a Pokemon that I enjoy, so. It has retaliate on it! Oh my goodness. You're coming in the Ultra Ball, buddy. I don't care. Alright, come on. Yes! 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 Oh man, I'm training this thing. I'm so training this thing. So we're gonna name it the Upper Class right here. Alright, that is awesome because Furfru is definitely an Upper Class than all of you. And right here, I think we have made it to Spinal Town. Oh, no, 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 you gotta get out of here, man. You gotta get out of here. This place is a complete disaster. Earthquakes, everything's disappearing and stuff like that, but yeah. Oh, an item in here. We found the good rod. Awesome. Now we can go and farm for, uh, for, uh, hard scales from the love disc. And this is a new track for Spinal Town, and I really like it. Ooh. I don't even, what? This is a sky, no, I can't. This is a sky, sky tower, sky pillar. I don't, I don't know, something around those lines. And then this is going to go, right? Yep, that's going to go. There's a box over here. And then the mart's going to disappear. The entire mart. Oh, lordy. Well, I reckon it ended up somewhere else. Well, that's where you get our stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, everything is going on. There's a lot of stuff going down over here. Alright, so... Hello, what's up? Hello, stranger. You have a collection of bug-type Pokemon. Bennett and I are friends, and you guys both like bug-types, so... And Miss Sarah. So this guy, if you trade him a Carablast, he will give you a Shelmet in return, so that you can get an Aselgore, and vice versa. So definitely go to him if you want to use any of those two Pokemon. And wow, I got a Skype message during a recording, but that's alright. Alright, so I heard that... Alright, that there is a Helix Fossil side quest of... What the? This is the one, right? It's gotta be. It's talking about Arche- Oh! Come to ruin our day in a place like this? Meet us in Tanzan Mountain. Alright. Alright, so, you know, let's just keep going up over here. Hey, what's up? Alright, cool. Scientist. Oh, um. Okay, so I guess we're healing- or we're reviving our uh, Helix Fossil, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Hey, what's up, man? Okay, so, uh, this guy takes a while, so, uh, yeah, I'll just be taking my leave right here. Alright, so, look at this house. Oh, man, that whole house just disappeared right there. I think that's the house that has a, what is it? It has a, a trade over there. You get to get Cryogonal for a Pokemon. I just don't know which Pokemon. This whole town has gone mad. At least the disappearing things are entertaining and whimsical, but the earthquakes are just jarring. Yeah, ultimately the random happenstances through stranger... Those strange are inconsequential. Uh, okay then. Nowhere to strike next. But still, guys, wow, look at all these boxes. Oh, man, there goes a bench, and this box is right over there. And uh, a lot of stuff disappearing, so... Alright, I definitely want to save the game of course. Whoa, Luna! Oh, you're not Luna. Um, excuse me, I was supposed to investigate the source of the loud noise. 
Uh, that would do it. And the Pokemart's on top of the house. Mother, the shop seems to have appeared on top of the house. Um, what? So it is. That explains why we couldn't get the balcony door open. Um, hello, who might you be? My name is Sarah. I suppose I'm this town's gym leader now. As for the shop, well, I'm afraid we might be out of luck here. Anyway, why don't you come inside? Bennett, you too. Alright, cool. So this is, uh, she seems pretty kind right now. Nothing out of the ordinary, unlike Shade, Julia, Flowbot. Alright, what is going on? Sarah, he... So you were hoping to reach the Pokemart. That's unfortunate. I really don't have a solution for this. As I'm quite sure you've noticed, really strange things have been happening in this town for the past few days. I may be a gym leader, but I can't say I'm prepared for, well, everything disappearing and the Pokemart's landing on the top of my house. Honestly, all we could do... All we can do... All we can do might be to hope that... What? That was a weird thing. And that's Bennett. Well, my greetings. My name is Bennett. As you heard, I'm a... <laughs> a guy that studies bugs. So, yeah. Yes, mother. Yep. Uh, Luna. Luna. Oh, this guy. This guy is like, who's this Luna person? I mean, seriously. She's a good girl. And we need to find her parents, so yeah. Landed at her doorstep. Well, someone's at the door. Could you get that, please? I wonder who that could be. Whoa, who's that? Prosperitas Pax Passus Osecium! Blessings of the uh, Lord Arceus upon your house! My name is El, a servant of our Lord Arceus! Welcome, El. How can I help you? I don't suppose you're trying to get to the Pokemon, too? Incorrect! Rather, I have come looking for my daughter! <laughs> I don't know what to give this man's voice, so I'll give him, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I'll give him a stupid voice like that. My daughter has denounced me as her father and run away. I have hoped to, com to reclaim her and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, Miss Sarah, right? I'll be much obliged to linger. Interlinger. And he's on the couch. What's up, man? Maybe no mind, Traveler. Certainly lively in here. Interesting into, uh, yeah, challenging her as well. Ahem, well, he needs to improve his skills, so let us battle Bennett first. So let's do this, guys. Let's get this battle with Bennett, the bug guy. Alright, let's see what he has up his sleeve. So, Lepio... Lep... Le... I don't even know. Dang, look at that Larvesta, though. Alright, I'm just going to hit him up with that straight up fire blast, see if I can take it out. It isn't going to take him out. Zen Headbutt going to be hitting me for pretty much a big chunk, but that's alright. Let's see if I can hit another fire blast in a row that will hit him. You know what, I'm just going to go for the safe flamethrower now because I don't know if I'm going to miss the next one. So flamethrower going down. Not exactly going to be taking him out, but this next flamethrower will definitely take out that Larvesta. So that is awesome. Larvesta is down. Next up we got Masquerain. Oh man, this reminds me of uh, the struggle bug Masquerain that uh, Shelly had. Alright, flamethrower going down. Masquerain's going to take a large chunk. Hydro pump going down on Pixie Sticks. The sun. Pixie Sticks will live that hit. The sun fades away, but that is alright, because I can hit him up with another flamethrower and take out that Masquerain. Yes, all's going, all's going well, guys. Bennett is a really hard battler. Alright, next up we got Vivalon. So Vivalon is a really, really fast Pokemon. So I'm going to switch out to KFC real quick. Here comes a Vivalon. Alright, look at that Reborn Pattern seal. It's so good. Alright, Draining Kiss going down on KFC. Not going to be doing much, so I'm going to hit him up with that Flare Blitz. And that will take out that Vivalon, though. I do take a lot of recoil in return, but that is no problem because I have a whole lot of other Pokemon on the bench right now. Speed Boost going to be raising my speed. Next up is going to be the Dust Ox. Here he comes, man. Here comes the Flare Blitz. And boom! That is going to do a lot back to KFC, but that is no problem. It's KFC grew to level uh, 48. Speed Boost coming out. Next up is the Butterfree. This Butterfree is his ace right here. We hit him up with that Flare Blitz that will take out that Butterfree. And KFC gave his life for that kill, so that is all good for me. Alright, finally, let's see what his last Pokemon is. So let's send out the Goongar real quick. His last Pokemon is a Venomoth. I see, I see, you are highly, you are at a highly advanced stage of metamorphosis already. Oh my god, so many bug stuff. Alright, hit him up with that Shadow Ball. Let's see what he got. He's going to go for the Quiver Dance. Alright, but let's see if this Quiver Dance can sweep my entire team, shall we? 
So he's going to go for the Bug Buzz. How much will that do? It's not going to do nearly as much damage as he thinks it is. Channel Ball going to go down. It's going to hit me up with that Sleep Powder, though. Oh, that is definitely something annoying. So he's probably going to... No, he's just going to keep Bug Buzzing me. Probably hoping for a, a special defense drop. But he's not going to get it. Bug Buzz hitting down on Goongar again. But this time he will get the special defense drop. Goongar is still asleep. I'm going to need to sack him. I need a different Pokemon to take out that Venomoth. So Goongar goes down. Alright, so I think that Pew can actually do a decent amount to that Venomoth. So let's go for the... He's going to go for the second Quiver Dance. While Venomoth could potentially sweep my entire team. But he's not going to do that. Because Pew goes for that Thunderbolt and does take out that Venomoth. And that is good game to Bennett. Dang! I sound like a Pokemon commentator. Dang. Well, it looks like I still have some ad adaptations to undergo myself. Impressive, young one. I believe you are both. I believe you both have been gifted by the Arceus's light. Oh man, this is so weird. This guy, he's just like, all oh, praise, Lord Arceus! All hail! All Pokemon are nothing. You are the best, Lord Arceus. Praise be to God, Pokemon. Yeah, something like that. All right. Okay. And uh, yeah. So yeah, they're good. They're just gonna go outside, guys. I'm going to be ending the video right around here. I am going to be needing to do a lot of training because Bennett took out two, uh, two of my Pokemon, but KFC, you know, with that Flare Blitz, it did a lot of damage, and uh, he, he definitely did his job right there. Since we're up against Sarah, which is an Ice Gym leader, I think KFC will just need to use Double Kick and High Jump Kick to take him out and definitely use that uh, Flare Blitz to do a lot more damage. But yeah, guys, I definitely want to do a lot more training before I fight Sarah. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pokemon Reborn. On the next episode of Pokemon Reborn, we're just going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking on Sarah and her gym. So right now, I am going to heal up. I am going to look at my party box real quick. This is just one, one more look at my box before I go. I do have a lot of Pokemon right here. Let's see our upper class. Ooh, special attack on 30, dang. HP at 31, though. With Jolly, I could breed with this thing. And... Shion! Alright guys, yep. Thank you for watching. I'll be grinding for money as well. Later! Bye!